Hi everyone, my name is Beacon. I'm the Poi Mechanic. And today I'm going to show you how to add swivels to your 3 8 inch rope. Now, uh, you can get any type of swivel out there, but what I recommend is Croc Bill Fisher swivels. They're the only true stainless steel, um, all stainless steel construction swivels on the market that I've been able to find. A lot of companies claim they're all stainless steel, but they're really not. Um, these are size 7, uh, 550 pound test weight. What's nice about these is they're uh, dual action, so uh, or dual barrel. One spins on this side, one spins on this side. So they'll last a long time and they spin like crazy. So uh, anyways, what you're gonna wanna do is get your rope and get some tape and tape off the rope. Get it kinda nice and tight. Then you're gonna wanna take a uh, pair of scissors or cutters of some sort and cut your rope uh, about an inch away from your tape. Now you're going to want to take an object that's uh, kind of pointy but kind of with a blunt point to it um, that you're going to be able to feed through the rope halfway in the center and you want to push it through by working it back and forth like that and then it'll pop out the other side just make sure you're halfway through that looks like halfway through so you're going to want to start working this object up the rope like that and what's going to happen and keep tension right here that way the fibers don't come loose what's going to happen is you're going to have two equal amount of strands on both sides you're going to want to melt your rope Now, this stuff gets pretty hot, so unless you got like tough mechanic hands like me, I don't know if I'd recommend using your hands. Now what you're going to do is take your swivel and run it through this pointed end that you just made. And then bottom it out here at the bottom where the tape is. Now on the other side, you're going to want to cut this. Uh, you're probably going to want to cut it about an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch even um, away from your, your ring. Use your lighter and melt the rope the best you can. That's what you'll have left. Now, cut the other end about oh, half an inch up the rope. Now we're going to light this on, or not light it on fire, but we're going to melt it and actually get both sides so it's nice and uh, warm and melted. And then you're going to fold this over on itself and kind of hold that there until the plastic fuses or the, the rope fuses to itself. Now once it's fused to itself, kind of work this bearing back and forth to make sure that it's not going to be stuck off to the side here. And then we're going to go and melt it a little bit more. Now you can untape it. Okay, now we want to smooth this out the best we can. Use a torch. Make sure it's on a real low setting, so it doesn't uh, make the pl uh, the it's plastic once it uh, hardens, and you don't want to get it too hot because it'll melt it. 
in a bad way and make it crumble after it's solidified, so. And that's what you're left with. I'm going to smooth this up a little bit better, but um, that's what you're left with. And you might think that that's not much to hold, uh, you know, if you're doing orbitals and you're really pull, pulling on the rope. But trust me, it's it's enough. It will not pull through. I'm giving it all I can right there, and it's not budging. You could hang from this if you really wanted to, although I don't know if I recommend it. But anyways, uh, then what you want to do is get yourself some... Uh, uh, heat shrink cut it about eh, three quarters of an inch uh, if you use three eighths inch heat shrink it's gonna be uh, you know pretty tight on here so I would feed it through this end, pull the heat shrink on here and just keep pulling it until it's snug and then you know take a, a lighter and light the heat shrink and it will cinch down over that um, It'll cinch down over that, and you'll start. You'll you'll feel a little teeny edge on there. Um, don't worry about that, because you'll just use it a little bit, and the the rope that you use will start to swell a little bit, and the heat shrink it kind of fits under the rope once it swells, so um, you won't even notice it. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's how you put swivels on three eighths inch rope. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the comment uh, section below. And please check out my other links to other videos I have on how to make uh, glowing podpoy uh, contact balls. Uh, and uh, have a couple other videos out there. And I'm probably going to start selling these things on my website. But in the meantime, um, you can find the Bill Fisher um, on multiple sites online. Um, Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have a good one.